we're back. Look, we get it. It's been crickets here for a while, but you know, we've been working on a lot of stuff. So for example, some of your favorite shows here on Hoonigan Project Car Channel, like Build and Battle, it's coming back. Season four is coming up. Uh, Knuckle Busters. That's coming back. Nice big project. That's where we've been hiding down for so long. Knucklebuster's coming back? Yeah, man. What's up? So, in the meantime, as we're waiting to kind of roll out some of these bigger shows, we figured we'd just kind of start showing you what's going on inside the building. There's been a lot of stuff going on at the beginning of the year. Guys are trying to get their cars back up. I'm even working on my car. So, whether it's trivial, small little installs, or fixing things we break at the burn yard, figured. Why not just upload it, show it to you guys. So we're gonna try to do this as often as possible, put it up as much as we can, so you can see everything that happens here at the Donut Garage, AKA 621 Golden Avenue, Long Beach. So enjoy. Hurt, did you get food? Where's that brought the bread at? This is not mine. What do you mean it's not yours? Look at this shit. There's Looks no the way. Same. No, it doesn't. There's way too much would, green well, on that mine. for that to be his. That's the. That's the. the... That you um you had you. This is a salad. I did not order a salad. Look at you. You've been slimming down. You probably ordered a salad. Don't fucking butter me up. Just not butter me up. Do you see I'm that just... strategy right there? Yeah. Being honest I know, with you. I know I'm just being honest well. with you. You're Man. so fucking handsome right now. It's crazy. Are you gonna no, eat not, first, or are you gonna go look at your car? Apparently, they yeah. your car's outside. Blur, blur this thing out. Yeah, there's this thing here that uh, we've locked Dan to for I don't know months, and uh, we're not allowed to show it to you. It's that, but we can't show you that. You show the parts, though, right? They'll, people will figure that out. Ah, all right, problem. <laughs> Looking good. Don't mind the bell screech. We're, we're working. Wow. Damn, the flake on that is crazy. <laughs> on that thing it's hard the flake on the black is actually even more impressive that's real serious flake pictures do not the pictures are dope but they don't yeah, do that's it that's what i was telling you yeah the pictures don't do it any justice this is insane cactus corolla <laughs> hachidoku okay this is orange it's not red <laughs> don't call it red it's not red what color is that it's be technical yeah, so it actually is an OEM color. I'm not gonna tell you what car, what make, what model, or anything like that. So this is just the start. So I bought this car, it came fully kitted with the wheels and everything, and I broke an axle immediately. So I decided I can't have an ugly car and a broken car all at the same time. So I hit up the guys over at West Jones Auto, and I was like, hey, I need to get this car painted just so my lady doesn't hate me for paying too much money for an old ugly car. So and, and this is your daily driver, right? This is gonna be like a daily daily yeah, uh, daily fun car. Yeah, no, I wanna drive it every day, but it's like the my nine eleven. Yeah, like, there's you gonna can be, still drive it every there's day. There's gonna be a balance, but I'm gonna try to drive this most days. But you know, it still needs a little work. So because I just bought the car, haven't I haven't even gone under it. I don't fully know everything that's done to it, so I need to like figure it all out. So today we're probably gonna swap out the coilovers to BCs because I run BC racing coilovers on everything I have. This is the best this color has ever looked, and I've had this color for Years. Yo, hold on a second. This is a nice what car is drive. that? That looks amazing. It's Pastrani. Huh? Yo. Sorry, got excited. <laughs> How do you think the Torque Stallion feels that you're just coming out with back to back better cars than the Torque Stallion? <laughs> the Torque Stallion is <laughs> like seven years <laughs> in. The it's 240's seven, eight, coming out great. This thing looks eight beautiful. Eight years in. Eight years in. <laughs> this is that situation where your side piece is hotter I know, than your wife. I know. Listen, I didn't... You want to pull it right in the garage or you want to go take it for a spin first? I don't want to drive with a broken axle. All oh, right, all right. <laughs> It looks totally different in here. 
got to flip, man. Let's put this thing in the sky. Let's yeah. get the wood. What is today? Coil overs? I don't even want to jack it up or anything. I don't even want to. I know. It looks really good. Yeah. We're going to have to actually, we're with the skirts, we're going to have to put it up on wood. Yeah, to take the size. But you want to open up the coils? Let's, what, what are we putting on here today? Yes. I noticed that there was a stamp on the box that said custom special. Yeah, so are these a little different than well, what you can buy? Well, essentially, because so like the, right here, custom build. The off the shelf models, like there's a level of low that I like that the average person. Right, has. so this is like a super low kit. So it's a super low kit. So the that, bodies are shorter? So it's a shorter body, but it's also valved to compensate mm. for the, you know, the shorter shot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing? You're it's gonna wrong, install man. these on the curls. Oh, <laughs> look what time it is. <laughs> oh look, someone else came to help. <laughs> See, this is why I moved from Florida. Because everyone figured out. Because you burned out all your friends in Florida. I could work on cars. So, uh, uh. Wow. I guess this is what we doing now. You want to spice me up? Can we, just, can we just see what this could look like? Could this become a Johnny? Is this a transformation right here? I haven't spent any time on this car yet. Yeah, seriously, MAG aluminum polish is pretty it's serious. It's literally one of my favorite I use it in my house all the time because like half my house has aluminum in it. Actually, he's not even going to finish No, no, I'm not even going to finish it. <laughs> No, he's gonna have just one blank you're gonna have, you're gonna quarter He's gonna do you like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Dude. Hey, Johnny, get back out here and shoot another beauty package of this wheel. This is dust tape. Let's see what we're working with here. I've never seen a part like this in suspension kit, so I don't know. That is definitely not a Euro so, looking thing. So, 10 years ago, coilovers for these cars weren't an easy option because the front has a front spindle, and in order to do it, you have to chop it and weld stuff on. Uh, so it's, that's how my Audi is. Right. That's how your yeah. 30s are too. Remember right. we had to do that for Joey's car. Yeah. yeah. So BC actually developed a kit with a new front spindle, so you don't oh. have to cut and weld anything. So. What? Oh, yeah, so wow. Yeah. So, so normally you would have had to like cut like right mm. there and slam the shock in and then weld it straight, which is not my forte. But then the camber adjustment's all top. Yep. So easy. Yep. Like this is how my how it looks on my. Uh... Please stop doing that on camera. What? That's disturbing. I did that. This, <laughs> this. <laughs> Don't do this. I got hit with the wind, you know, slow <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Hurt, have you been enjoying all the colored stuff we've been making I lately? Love it, man. I feel like I don't see you ever wearing just black anymore. Listen, all I want is a red hoodie. <laughs> on like video. All I want, I, if I ask for anything, it's a red hoodie and a Long Beach blue hoodie. We need those two colors. We got white, we got yellow, and we need red and Long Beach blue. We, we had red hoodies back in the day. Back in the day, the first drop. You yeah. lived in that hoodie. Yeah, that was my shit. And then the burgundy one was sick too. Yeah. And then had the gray also. Like I miss had a That gray. was good too. See man, just like, oh, let's open it up a little bit. That's the fiery one, but also still just black. Dude, you're grossing, you're grossing me out, okay? Yeah. Do we actually have any pieces of wood in the building so we can get this thing on the lift? I'll go find some wood. Stock brakes, just how you like them. It's a little car. It's a little <laughs> car. Can we start doing something? Sure. Um, you want to crack those caps off the spindles? We can start uh, pulling that out. So this is very typical Hurt. Like Hurt. I didn't plan this. He didn't plan didn't this. Plan he did it. I actually was like, yo, your car showed up. Let's just put the coil yeah. on right now. Yeah. Suddenly, and now all of a sudden a group of people come so he doesn't have to help anymore. I went to the bathroom and I said. <laughs> no one's here when I'm working yeah. on the Rover or the Audi. It's just me. You need drift friend. <laughs> like how often are you working on something and all of a sudden a bunch of people show up to help you? Hurt on the other hand. It's like. All I hear is a bunch of haters. I didn't know this about Brandon. So this is Brandon Wicknick, ex-Formula Drift driver. And he just happens to show up today. And he just happens to show up today. Working on your car? Listen, man. <laughs> this is, I didn't have it. Are you serious? God, are you serious? Don't help him. Don't help him. Don't help him. Put that coil over down. Take that out. No, take that out. Take that out. You guys get out of here. Take this coil off. Are you trying to do this? Yeah, what's going on? Yo, you're my car, idol, though. Like, I just want to learn how this all works. Like, I just want to think. Hurt, you're my car, idol, though. Like, I just want to learn how this all works. Like, I just want to think Hurt's aura of car stuff and just like study it for science. Like we, we dissect should, you or it's like, We should make her, out, like, we should make her wear a helmet all the time now so we can preserve his brain. We can figure out how he's figured this yeah. out. I didn't make this happen. 
if I could offer one piece of advice to you guys watching this, <laughs> don't have friends. Except, um, unless they're friends like Brandon. But these kind of friends? <laughs> ones that don't talk and just do this right, stuff. No, you're, no, you're neutral. You're neutral. I'm sorry. You just got, I just brought them in. You're just guilty just by association. Just going back yeah, yeah, yeah. You're guilty by association here, but I'll let you slide on that. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> I'm not going to stop rolling, by the way. The editors are going to f***. I thought this was live. Diego. This is live. 5G. <laughs> Basically, what you can see on these bearings, right. some old grease. I'll try and get rid of some of that. I'll clean it up so you can see it. See, this one's fairly loose. I can feel it. Like it's, it's a. This one's a little bit worn. I've already done these, but basically, basically what I like to do is just grab the chunk of that. Even more than that, actually. Bearing has that little opening there, and you want to kind of get the grease packed in there. So you see, I can. When I go like that, it'll push the grease down into it. It's pretty quick when you just get kind of a motion going and just pack it in there. If I shove my thumb in there, just kind of push that grease into there. Just like that. You can do it on both sides too. But to where it starts coming out here, you can rotate this a little bit and do it again. And it'll pack down and you just keep doing it. When you're done with it, do it again. Get it all lubed up. Ooh. Proper pack bearings. Just cut to Shakira's tongue at Super Bowl. <laughs> With the sheep? <laughs> With the goat the, after? The double booty shake, J-Lo and Shakira are like, you know they got 20 million views in 12 hours. Cut to the footage? I mean, that's 100 years of booty. <laughs> <laughs> this video is gonna make it look like I didn't do anything. It's not lying. Or did you do the other side already? <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> We all working this close to the floor because we don't know how to use the lift. Oh, you want me to lift it up? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I was just assuming that. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to make sure that like I'm not laying on the floor because they think I need it to be on the floor, and, they, and I'm working because I think they need to be on the floor. Dad's wearing gloves. He's smart. Goes home, keeps his lady happy with some nice hands, right? Dude, that's it. Grease actually cleans your hands really good, too. <laughs> Dad, where the f are the gloves? I gave him directions three times. They're just sitting on top of my toolbox. <laughs> They're always on top of my toolbox. It never fucking changes. So on this episode of Corolla Overhaul, we got the BC coilovers installed. We sprayed down the orange paint. What? I don't know. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> See, get yourself friends like mine. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, they just push you out of the way. Like Vinny didn't even want to do it. He was saying, I'm not going to do anything on this and as he's doing stuff on That's why we're going to study you for science, Hurt. With the help of my friends, and luckily, you know, Brandon Wicknick and his crew came because they're Corolla Masters, and we're a bunch of idiots. They helped us speed up this process. If you've been watching this video, we're going to try this new thing where we just do, because we always do small things on our cars that aren't bigger picture, like you see on staff inspection or car cane rehab or on Pro's Garage. We're going to try to give you a little more daily uploads with our small projects instead of everything being so extravagant, because we realize everything being so big and taking so long, one week an episode, you want a little more than that. So we're just gonna start doing upgrades on our cars and filming small little videos and putting them up for you. So hopefully you like kind of daily project cars, but not so daily, but kind of daily. It's every now and then. Every now and daily. Every now and daily. Every now and daily. Every now and daily? Yeah, every now and daily. Yeah, so these videos are gonna come out every now and daily. So a few other things you'll see soon with this is the CAS differential. We're performance GTS Corolla rear end, which is axles in a different ring gear. So I think 
stock is somewhere like 410 or something and I'm going to a 47 to really make it feel like a fast car even though it's still a slow car and look we've got all these projects to update with you every now and daily so every now and daily coming soon thanks for watching goodbye oh my god can I help you out here oh, got all these like little little things on there you know scratching it no I, I fogged it I just with my shitty my shitty shirt hurt. These are the and products then, uh, that we make here. Vin lays down in rocks and stuff. Oh. And then he just rubbed it across your camera screen. When did I lay down?